Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Heidi and I'm here today at the Myriad Gardens for Botanical Balance Yoga. Thank you to Fuller Automotive and our additional sponsors, OU Physicians and Tinker Federal Credit Union. During this time when so much is happening in the outside world, it's refreshing to have some yoga to turn to. So we will have a 60 minute vinyasa flow today. Thank you for joining. Hello everyone, so let's get started. For today's class, we're going to begin in Supta Baddha Konasana, Recline Butterfly. So bringing the soles of the feet together, hips splay wide, and then just come on down to the back. Bringing one hand to heart and one hand to belly, begin to close the eyes or soften the gaze. And just arrive here into the space. Beginning to notice your breath and see how you're feeling within your body. Allowing every inhale to lengthen and every exhale to deepen. Let's all meet at the bottom of an exhale. And take a great big inhale through the nose, pull it up from the pit of the belly, all the way to crown the head. Hold it top. And open the mouth, side out. One more time, just like that. Take a great big inhale. Hold. And let it go. And beginning that easy transition into your ujjayi breath, your pranayama breath control. As you seal the lips, restrict the throat. Begin to channel the air in and out of the nose. This breath to build some concentration to gain a little heat for today's practice. Using this ujjayi breath, we're moving to move into a three part breath belly, ribs, chest. So make your way to an exhale. On your next inhale through your nose, pull your air into your belly, feeling it grow soft and round, and draw the air up into the ribs as they expand in every direction. And last, pull the air all the way up to the chest, feel the heart rise, pull, and exhale nose, chest, ribs, belly. Again, inhale, belly, ribs, chest, pull. And exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Continuing here, five rounds of breath at your own pace. that last exhale, returning to your standard Ujjayi breath, perhaps a little more mindful. And just a quote to shape today's practice, change will come as surely as the seasons and twice as fast. From here, begin to gently pump the legs up and down, imagine you're flapping your butterfly wings. And feel free to leave the eyes closed or gaze soften. And on your next inhale, find a full body stretch. Let the legs go long down the mat. Reach the arms up and overhead. And then maybe point, flex the toes, roll the wrists and the ankles. Just a general awakening. Take one more breath in here. 
And on your exhale, we're climb star. Let the arms and legs go wide, forming that human axe, and then continue to find movement. On your next breath in, draw knees into chest, right hand to right shin, left hand to left, and then just pause here, seeing how your body is feeling today. A breath in, and on the exhale, begin to gently pull the knees apart, sacrum pressing down, gaze is up, allowing those hips to continue to melt open. your next breath in, begin to find some circles, pulling the knees together and apart, or any movement that feels natural to you here. And then we'll all meet at center, take a pause, let the arms go wide, let the T airplane, take a big breath in. And then on your exhale, shift the hips over to the right as you drop the knees to the left for an easy supine twist. Once you're here, lift the head and then turn the neck to gaze away from the legs. Bringing out the belly, the spine, any stale air. If this top leg has popped up, feel free to take your left hand and just weight it down a bit more. With every inhale, find a little more length and every exhale, twist stemming from the belly. Breath in, breath out, and then on your inhale, make your way back to center, and then exhale, shift the hips left as you drop the knees right, same thing, lift the head, and then turn to gaze away from the legs. Once again, if you like, take a hand and weight down that top leg. A full breath in, a slow breath out. And on your inhale, make your way back to center, hands to shins. Begin to open the eyes or deepen the gaze if they're not already. Then just find a few rocks and rolls up and down the spine, maybe back and forth. We'll eventually make our way up to a comfortable seat. And I'm just going to turn to face this way. And same thing here, if you're at home and you have a block, feel free to sit on that to put a little more ease on the spine, the hips, or if you want to take a half lotus or a full lotus. And from here, find that nice tall spine, roll the shoulders down the back. Not an inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, nice and wide through the fingertips, roll the shoulders down, gaze is up. One more breath here. And on your exhale, plant the right hand, your cupcake, nice generous bend in that right elbow as the left arm reaches up and over. Gaze is up and under that left arm, and then find laying down both side bodies. One breath in, breath in. And on your inhale, make your way back up to center, gazes up, and exhale, opposite side, plant your cupcake, and keep the leg along both sides. Breath in, breath out, and on your inhale, come back up to center, and then just flow that at your own pace, maybe as slowly or quickly as you like. Maybe as you come through each side, you bring the whole forearm down, just opening the body here, tick tocking back and forth. About one more round, maybe back in center whenever finished. And from here, take a breath in. And on your exhale, you're just going to flip the fingers behind you to cupcake. 
and then puff up through the chest, opening across the heart, squeezing those shoulder blades together as you gaze up. Take one more round of breath. Then on your inhale, arms reach up, gaze follows. Then exhale, begin to hinge from the hips as you find your fold here. Five rounds of breath. Keeping that length down the spine, hips sending back. And then once you're here, feel free to find some movement. Maybe shift the hips back and forth, shake the head, yes or no. With every exhale, moving a little deeper into the pose. fingertips back to meet the shins, and then your exhale, find a tabletop pose. So just the hair as we're getting there. Good, and once you're in your tabletop, think about spreading your fingers nice and wide, and then shoulders over elbows, over wrists, and your knees or hips with distance apart. Just taking a few rounds of cat-cows here. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, spread the collarbones, gaze up, and exhale, cat, dome through the chest, tuck the chin, press the mat in. Again, inhale, cat. And exhale, cat. About five more rounds here, moving at your own pace. Adding in any natural movement, maybe sway the head, shake the head, or snake your cat cows close to the mat. Two more breath cycles. Whenever you're finished, leaning back with that nice flat spine. From here, we'll take thread the needle. And I'll start on the left side just so you can see that more easily. On an inhale, left arm reaches up. You just find your full range of motion here. Some giant circles with the arm. Try to keep those hips nice and square. Your next inhale, we're going to pause, lift, and lengthen. And exhale, thread the needle. Really dive that left arm through, and then your head comes down to the mat. Lots of options here. Maybe you drape your right hand up and over. Maybe you bring your right hand to the crook of the left hip. Or you can kickstand that right foot. If you're kickstanding, reach for the foot with the hand. And then roll the shoulder open wherever you are, and gaze up. One breath in, breath out. From your next inhale, begin to unravel. Let that left arm go back up to the sky. On your exhale, find a half bind. Tuck that left hand into the crook of the right hip. If it doesn't quite reach, just wrap it around the back. And continue to roll the shoulder open. Still active through the belly here. When you're ready for a breath in, unravel, reach up. And then exhale, plant the hand down, re-level the hips. On an inhale, right arm reaches up, and then find that full range of motion. And then on an inhale, pause, lift and lengthen. And on your exhale, really dive that arm through, and then head to now. Remember, each side of the body is unique. We want to be even, but if you feel like doing something else on this side, go right ahead. One more round of breath here. And then on your inhale, begin to unravel. That right arm reaches back up to the sky. And then exhale, find that half bind. Continue to roll open and breathe. 
holding the pose. On your next inhale, reach up, and then exhale, plant the hand. Good, from here, we're going to tuck the toes, hips high, first down, up. Good, 10 rounds of breath here. Remember, if down dog is a lot, you can always take a child's pose, find a break wherever you need it. Talking about alignment, we want to make certain we're taking up about three quarters of the mat. Fingertips are spread wide, feet or hips width distance apart. You're creating an inverted V as you gaze all the way back to your navel and wrap the biceps in. Really claw the hands, the toes into the earth. Now that we've found the pose, find a little bit of movement. Pedal the legs, walk the dog. If you lift a leg, find some hip circles. About five more cycles of breath. Breath in, begin to walk the feet up to meet the hands. Forward fold, Uttanasana at top of the mat. Just take an easy rag doll here. Grab our opposite elbows, feet or hips width distance apart, slight bend in the knees, and then take some movement. Swing back and forth, shaking the head. Just a general release all down the back, the thighs. Inhale, keep these ragdoll arms. We're going to begin to roll up and find a baby back bend with ragdoll arms overhead. Push the hips forward, keep the leg down the spine, and begin to track the eyes back. On your next inhale, come to center. And then on your exhale, shift the arms to the right, hips left as you gaze under that left arm. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, come back to center, look up, and exhale, opposite side. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, back to center, and then exhale to Dasana Mountain Pose. We'll take a few rounds of sun salutations, and remember you can always skip the Chaturanga and meet in your down dog. So on an inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find a flat spine, hands to shin, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then exhale, step back or hop back to your plank pose. Lower, chaturanga, you can always come to the knees. Inhale, up dog, lift through the thighs, untuck the toes, pull the heart forward, and then exhale, down dog. Three rounds of breath here. On your next inhale, make your way however you like to top of that. Half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms up, grab energy. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat spot. Exhale, vinyasa or step to down dog. Lower slowly, hug elbows into ribs. Inhale, up. And exhale, down, two breath cycles. On an inhale, meet at top of mat, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, left side A together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat spot. Exhale, vinyasa. Plant the palms, step back, lower slowly. Inhale, up, pull the heart through. And exhale, down. Breath in, breath out. On an inhale, make your way to top of that, half lift. Exhale, fold, moving this one at your own pace. Meeting in down dog when finished. And 
and breathing in down dog whenever you reach here for three rounds of breath. And we'll begin our main flow. For today's main flow, we'll actually begin on the left side, which is somewhat unusual, but just so that we can see it a little more evenly on the camera. On your next inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step through, low lunge. On your inhale, rise up, high lunge. Anjane Asana, two hold. Good. Once you're here, think about once again taking up about three quarters of your mat. You want your front knee stacked over your ankle, your front thigh parallel to the mat. Zipper the belly in and up. Then you can gaze straight ahead or ideally up at the lifted hands. Good, lengthen out through that back kneecap and keep popping up high through the heel. A full breath in. And on your exhale, open up, warrior two. Back heel spins flat, find that heel to arch alignment. And then let the arms go long. Think about keeping a nice neutral pelvis here rather than sticking front or back, tailbone driving down. Then direct your gaze to your third finger. One breath in, breath out. And on your inhale, reach far forward, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Keep that depth in the front knee as your back hand comes to back thigh. Think about rolling your whole chest up towards the ceiling. Take a breath in, fill up. Then on your exhale, extend inside ankle, reach forward, and then the front arm comes either to the thigh or all the way down to the ground, and back arm reaches up and over, gaze to the rest. Same thing here, bottom ribs are wrapping open to meet the right, and then if you want to take that half bind, top hand comes to the crook of the left hip, or full bind if you want to bring the other hand around and clasp, keeping that depth in the front knee. One breath in, breath out, and on your inhale, reverse the warrior again. Lifting and lengthening, keeping that integrity through the legs. A breath in here, then on your exhale, triangle pose. Straighten the front leg, shift the hips back. Then let the left hand fall anywhere on the leg or outside towards the mat. If you're at home and you have a block, great place to use it. And then think about your arms as an extension of one another. Hand active like you're about to high five someone. And crown of head reaching towards the front of the room. Really energetic. Breath in, breath out. And on your inhale, we're fall triangle. Begin to gaze down. We're going to bunny hop that back foot in, maybe a half a foot, so it's still slanted but planted. And then right hand comes down inside that left foot as you shift the left hand out. Keep actively pressing down through that back right foot. If the heel's popping, just hop in as far as you need. Try to keep those hips nice and square. Find one more inhale here. And then on your exhale, lizard lunge. Bring both hands inside that left foot. And let's just keep that back leg lifted for now. Hips are square, reach through the heart. And find a little movement as you shift back and forth. Feeling the stretch from hip to head. Now whenever you're ready, let that back knee drop, untuck the toes. And find your variation here. Maybe you come down to the forearms. You might splay that left knee open. Maybe go for a quad stretch. Just asserting your body's needs and working to meet them. Breath 
breath in, breath out. On your next inhale, side plank, left, right hand firmly plants, swivel the hips and reach that left arm up. Making that nice rainbow shape, lots of options here. You can always stagger a foot behind or bring a knee down to the ground, whatever works for you. A breath in. And then on your exhale, move through your vinyasa or meet and down dog. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Good. Now we'll move to the right side. On an inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise up. High lunge to hold. Good. Scissoring those legs together. Shoulder blade strong inward and fire it through the fingertips, shooting energy. A full breath in. And on your exhale, open up. Rear two. Find that heel to arch alignment. Sink the tailbone down. And always gaze at that back arm. Make certain it's directly in line with the other. Breath in. Breath that. On your inhale, reach far forward, flip the palm, and reverse warrior. Rolling the ribs up towards the sky. Feeling this openness all across the chest. Breath in. On your exhale, extend it side angle. Keep the length as you bring the front arm down to the thigh. Wrap those hips under. And then drape the arm up and over. Find any variation that you like here. One more breath here. Then on your exhale, lizard lunge. Both hands inside the right foot this time. Keep that back knee pop for now, and then just find some movement back and forth here. Heart pulling forward. And then whenever you're ready, drop that back knee, untuck the toes. Make certain you have a lot of space from hip to hip. And then find your deeper variation of the pose. Rocking. Breath out. On your inhale, side plank right. So left hand will plant nice and wide. Swivel the hips. Right arm reaches up. Draw the navel in. Make that rainbow shape. Find whatever variation you need here. Just keep pressing out through the razor edges of the feet. One more inhale. 
And then exhale, move through your vinyasa or step two, down dog. Inhaling up and exhaling down. We'll take that flow at a faster pace. You know that you can always take it at your own pace as well. On an inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, revolve the triangle. Exhale, lizard lunge. Inhale, side plank left. And exhale, vinyasa. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Breath in, right leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, revolve the triangle. Exhale, lizard lunge. Inhale, side plank right. And exhale, vinyasa. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Last time, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, revolve triangle. Exhale, lizard lunge. Inhale, side plank left. And exhale, vinyasa. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. Right side last time. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, revolve the triangle. Exhale, lizard lunge. Inhale, side plank right. And exhale, vinyasa. Eating in velocity, child's pose. Big toes meet, knees go wide, and then just resting here five long cycles. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, tuck the toes, hips high, down dog. And then from this down dog, begin to tiptoe the feet up to meet the hands. We'll just find a nice forward fold, pausing here, and drape the body back and forth, let the neck go. And then pause and center, take a breath in, and begin to make your way up to your mountain pose. Good, roll the shoulders down the back. And from here, we'll take some balance. So if you know you'd like to put a hand on the wall, by all means, go right ahead. But begin to find your drifty, your gaze point. So we'll start on the right side. So begin to ground down through that left foot. And on an inhale, right leg lifts, one leg in Tadasana. Zipper up through the belly. Keep stacking ears over shoulders, over hips. You can take prayer hands here or anything else that serves you. Push out through the heel. Keep that thigh nice and parallel. A breath in. On your exhale, extend your right leg straight out in front. It will pulse for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one leg, and exhale, tree pose. Use your hand to bring your foot anywhere on your leg. It might be kickstanded, it might be all the way up into the inner thigh. Just don't place it on the knee, and then make the pose your own. 
Hips are nice and square. Firmly press foot into left. And then find whatever variation you like. one-legged Tadasana, prayer hands, and then exhale, kick it back, warrior three. Push out through the heel, keep that left knee nice and supple, and then continue to draw the navel towards the ground. Roll hip in line with hip, and cobra up through the back. One more breath cycle here. And then on your inhale, land high lunge. Sweep the arms up, gaze falls. Take a breath in. And exhale, vinyasa or step two, down dog. Inhaling up and exhaling down. On your next breath in, make your way to the top of the mat, however you'd like to get there. And exhale, fold. Then on your inhale, take your time, make your way up to Tadasana, Mountain Pose. We'll take the same thing on the opposite side. So this time, we're going to ground down through that right foot, really dig into the mat. Now on an inhale, left leg lifts, one line in Tadasana. Good, zip up through the belly, push out through the heel, and hold the gaze point, maybe three feet in front of me, nothing moving. A breath in. On your exhale, begin to extend the leg straight out in front. Pulse for five, four, firm through the belly. Three, two, one. Inhale, one leg. Exhale, tree pose. Place the foot anywhere on the left. You can always have that hand on the wall or maybe even toes on the ground. And then make the pose around. Turn to one legged Tadasana. And then exhale, Warrior Three with prayer hands. Take your time, no rush. Push out through the heel. Ah. And then level out through the back of the belly. Last breath cycle. On your inhale, lay a high lunge, catch for balance, reach up, draw the navel in. A big breath in. And exhale, vinyasa, or step to down dog. Inhale and up, and exhaling down. From here, we're going to hop through to recline down onto the back for three rounds of bridge pose or full wheel, if that's in your practice. So coming down to the back, we're going to plant the feet, hips width distance apart. Your fingertips should be just about tickling the heels. And then we'll have hands flat beside us, all toes point directly forward. But now we inhale, we'll press into the feet and begin to lift the hips. Think about bringing the hips in line with the knees and then walk your shoulders under and clasp the palms underneath you. Good, lift the chin away from the chest. And then hold here nice and active for five rounds of breath. One more breath in. And on your exhale, lower down, release the hands, and just windshield wiper back and forth. We'll meet back in center for round two. On an inhale, press down, lift up. And this time, reach the arms up and overhead, just continuing that nice stretch through the fingertips. Peel the chin away from the chest, and just let the heart keep rising. If you want more, maybe come to the tiptoes and lift even higher.
breath in, and exhale, lower down, each heel wipe right back and forth. For our third and final round, take either one of the first two variations or take your full wheel. You're taking full wheel, plant the hands just beyond the shoulders, fingertips towards the toes. On an inhale, you'll lift up just to crown the head, hold here, keep pulling knees towards one another, elbows towards one another. And on an inhale, begin to lift up. Pull your heart through your arms and breathe easy. One more breath in, and exhale, lower down, and windshield wiper back and forth. From here, we'll meet in a down dog, so either take a vinyasa or just rock and roll and meet there. For our down dog, we're going to move into one legged pigeon. So on an inhale, right leg lifts. And then think about dog in a fire hydrant, bring your heel towards your glute and find your circles here. And flip dog or wild things in your practice, go right ahead by bringing that right leg up and over, plant through the left hand, gaze all the way to the right wrist as you push through the hips, or plant both feet, flip dog. If you flip to return to sun, then on an inhale, lift and lengthen. On your exhale, pull forward for one-legged pigeon. Really aim your right knee towards your right wrist, and then plant your shin down. It doesn't matter how parallel your shin is to the front of the mat. Just think about finding your heel in line with your hip. And then take a quick look behind you. Make certain your leg is extending straight back. Good, breath in here. Then on your exhale, begin to hinge from the hips. Let the arms go long. Maybe you stack the fist, grab our opposite elbows. This is very uncomfortable. Take figure four on the back instead. We'll be here for 10 rounds of breath. Fresh inhale, begin to tiptoe, fingertips back to meet the shin. On an exhale, we're going to swing this left leg around for staff pose. So root down through your sits bones, zip up the thighs, flex out through the toes, and then just cupcake the hands beside you. And on an inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. On your exhale, forward fold. Hinge from the hips, keep that flat spine as long as possible. You can always bring the legs a little wider or take a slight bend in the knees. And every inhale, finding a little more length. Every exhale, a little more depth. You can always easily reach your feet. Maybe you wrap the hands. Return back to center, lift and lengthen. 
Then on your exhale, draw forward. Think about coming into a plank pose. Aim your knee towards your wrist. Place your shin down. And then scoot that right knee back. Make certain your leg is extending straight back from the head. Take a breath in, find length. And exhale, begin to fold 10 rounds of breath. your armpits, thighs parallel. You can rock and roll here, lift and lengthen the leg. Just finding that playfulness. And then pause at center and allow the feet to come together and then drop back down to the mat. Sutta Baddha Konasana, recline butterfly, ending as we began with one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Taking any additional poses you may need now or begin to close the eyes, soften the gaze and rest easy here. option to stay right here or take your more formal shavasana as you let the legs go long. Arms splay wide. Maybe walk the shoulders under a little bit to lift through the heart. And then begin to close the eyes or soften the gaze if you haven't already. Giving your body a burst of gratitude for everything you have accomplished here on your mat today.
gentle awakening. Pulling the fingers and toes. And then rolling wrists and ankles. Allowing the limbs to lighten in preparation for movement once again. On your next inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, finding that good morning stretch. Knowing that Shavasana is always a chance to begin anew, no matter the time of day. A breath in. When your exhale, we're climbing, stop shooting energy through all five points. And on an inhale, draw knees into chest, arms come to shins. Find a few rocks up and down the spine, making your way to a comfortable seat, whatever that may be. Meeting here with eyes closed or they soften, hands straight, feet refreshed, reinvigorated. On an inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Then exhale, prayer hands to the third eye for pure thoughts. This for kind words to the heart for the sweetest of intentions, knowing that change will come as surely as the seasons and twice as fast. Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining us here today at the Marriott Gardens. This was Botanical Balance Yoga.